Why, hello there, and welcome. <laughs> hello. Hello. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Right. Lovely dog. How are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Now, who's this young babe you have with you? This is your it's, drag daughter. Yes, my drag daughter. This is Miss Judy LeBonk. It's lovely to meet you, Judy LeBonk. Finally. Uh, we're actually friends on Facebook, but we've yeah. not met in person. No. After all these decades. And you would have thought. And it is decades, trust me. Excuse me, my mother. Don't make it to me. <laughs> she turned me white. <laughs> You know, I always used to say, you know what a blonde is? It's a redhead that's had the fire fucked out of her. That's not the story. She, she's aged. <laughs> she's bleached your fire. Yeah, I'm just totally washed out, exhausted. And, and the carpet matches the drapes. <laughs> <laughs> Does it get longer as you grow older? <laughs> what, the, the carpet? The carpet. Turns into shag pile. The shag pile. To be quite honest, I've been able to send her that around for so long I wouldn't know. <laughs> Asking the wrong person. <laughs> So, so the lady wouldn't reveal that information anyway. So, are you excited about your big show today? Big Halloween special? Well, it's sort of what we threw together at the last minute. We had to sort of really plan to, um, to do a Halloween show. It's in Halloween no. secretly, not until tomorrow. But seeing the hotel went to all the trouble to do decorations and that was the theme and advertised this as the um, Halloween edition. Yeah, we're doing the first shows. We're doing our Halloween numbers, so... Awesome. But we're doing a very glamorous number to open, my daughter and I, you know. Oh, lovely. And then, it, well, we won't show you that. You'll see that later. You'll, 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 yes, I won't, I won't you'll, give any spoilers. You'll see, you'll see the other side of Doug. So those people that love seeing me glamorous, you're going to be really bitterly disappointed. So those that love seeing caricatures, that'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, any big news been happening since I last saw you? I mean, I haven't seen you for a couple of months. No, oh, just that it's... This weekend to the day, it's Pokey's 40, 40 45th birthday. It is. Happy birthday. 45, 45 years. years. Oh, I know. That, so, was, that was an easy birth. My God. Yeah. So 45, how, how does it feel to have a career that's more than 45 years long? Well, so much it doesn't seem that long. But then, you know, you sort of start thinking back and, you know, every now and then you get a birthday on occasion and you start thinking back. Oh, we did this, and then I thought, what was I doing on this day 45 years ago? How naive was I? Because, you know, we'd, got, we'd gone to the hotel to rehearse the number, the opening was, was big time. I thought we'd be there for half an hour and come back. I knew nothing about Cory or what was he got. I had a full on party going on at Surrey Road for my housemate for his birthday, and um, we ended up minus a male and a girl in the show, so the opening night was myself, Terry Tinsel, Ross Barnett. And Graham and Renee, I guess, was myself, was the show. So, and the rest, as I say, is history. It's just suddenly... Literally history. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, like, we had great support base, you know. We had people coming every week and encouraging us along, you know. And it was, it was a great outlet for other people, too, because people were good with sets, people were good with wigs, people that made costumes. and In those so days, all, like the young ones today would just take all this for granted, but in those days... The gay scene hadn't really had an entertainment venue. They had, you know, in the early 70s, they had dances and things with bands, but, um, yeah, but, but not somewhere where you go and sit down and watch a show. All right. So, I mean, it's just got a life of its own, and Sunday night people used to say it was like going to church, so, yeah, but I think, you know, that, oh, pardon me, I think of the numbers, I think of the people that have worked for over the years. But I don't, I, I don't feel old. I think you get past that stage, you're a certain age in yourself. And I'm enjoying life, I'm enjoying what I do. You know, but I'm still doing, doing, doing what I was doing 25 years ago. Thrown on a frock on a Sunday to entertain people. But that's why I do it. You know, I do it, it's fun. And you gave birth to the Just Dance. Oh, well, there were so many things that happened. So, hang on, because I'm not in the know, Judy, I guess you were part of the Dustettes? Yeah, well, that's why she's there. So that's what I was about to ask you, is how do you came into and this Dolores picture? Dolores and my sister Petra and um, Penelope. This is back in the days when, before electrolysis, you know, her and all her, her sister girlfriends had moustaches, you know. So yes. Very misfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it was a hormonal imbalance. Flower <laughs> You know, they look like, like porn stars in drag, you know. So what when, what venue was this? Where'd you start? Well, this was Pokies. Oh, Pokies is, is a backup 
to be doing a couple of numbers and ah. they went on to great success to do their shows all over the place. So, but so Jude's been treating the boys for quite a while. Yeah, my humble beginnings were, was actually Trisha's and then Bobby Cassidy's Nightwatch in Brighton. Okay, I've heard Lindsay talk about Trisha's. Uh, this is before my time because I'm only a baby <laughs> at 58. <laughs> and I was a baby when she was born, I was 10, you know, so my uterus has never been the same since. Oh my since. goodness. Oh, so between the three of us, it's over 112 years. Yes, well, the three of you, are you uh, just off camera here, we have the wonderful Sharon. How are you? Sharon Starr. Now, sorry, you've been busy getting, getting ready. Doing all of your things, doing up all of your buttons and things there. Mm. So, are you? I'm doing sweet tranny. Sweet transvest transvestite. Yes, you could say that. And how I'm how did you three all meet? Oh, oh you know, I've obviously well, known each other for yeah. years, and we saw Sharon. She was sort of trying to hitch a ride home here one day, and looked sort of like a broken down old lady. And we thought I oh, will give her a lift. And, she told me that she wanted, she had dreams about being a star, oh, so yes. I thought we'd, we'd take her on board. <laughs> no, that's not quite um, the story, it's just um, a bit of yeah, well, when Doug started Broadside, Andre gave me a ring and said, Doug's starting up Broadside, would you like to have a come along and do a perform? I said, absolutely, like it's a paper Catholic. So here I am, and I thanks think to Doug and Judy, they put up with my nonsense, and here I am. <laughs> and do you do a lot of nonsense? Is there a lot of back, backstage nonsense between the three of you? Oh, no, well, the, well, the rich, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, 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 you know, any group works together, you have your own little speech and your own little digs and people don't realise what's going on. But originally it was sort of like Jude and I were the constants, but then I wanted to be able to do some more production numbers, do works with trios and everything, so we had Sharon to join the troops. So um, originally it was open to whoever wanted to come and do numbers. Wow. Because I thought it'd be really nice to open up the stage to people who don't have access to the stage anymore and basically to catch up with friends rather than catch up at funerals, which unfortunately is the fact of life when you get uh, older. And we were working together at Club Medication over in the Merch. <laughs> what a great name, Club Medication. Yeah, yeah. smell. Yeah. And then when Just we came coming. here, I said to Doug, what are we going to call this? Um, uh, was it re-prescription or something I said? June. Oh, oh no, at uh, the merge it used to be club medication. Yeah. And then we thought for a while, came with different names, and I said, Broadside, because the old broads <laughs> are north side, right? Do you know what I mean? So so that's how Broadside came in. Broads Broads on North Side was just an abbreviation. Yeah. So play on, on puns. But we're not broads, we're, we're ladies. Yeah, we're ladies. So we're, yes. we're ladies. We're class. <laughs> Taught me how Sometimes. to walk and to talk and to be a real lady. Exactly. Now you've got a show to go uh, go on, and uh, uh, there's been lots of activity going on behind me right here, and I know that you've got a show to about to start. So I'll get out of your hair. And I'll you. I'll chat with you a little bit later. Yes. All right then. Thanks. Thank you very much for talking to us and giving us the backstage goss. And I'm Chookers. Chookers. All right. Thank Thanks, you. Steve. Thank you. Steve. Thanks, Steve. Look forward to seeing you.